Hey guys, uh, Divine Pisces 222. Uh, so just checking in uh, this morning for our, uh, our sorry, our, our reading uh, quickie uh, for Saturday the 27th. Um, so uh, the top row today, I, I used of course the Zodiac Oracle. I got Pisces, Uranus, Gemini, and Taurus. And the message I received from this was Divine Masculine is still feeling very pulled between two worlds right now and he's growing impatient with the process. The connection is starting to weigh heavily on his mind but he is loath to do anything about it. His commitment to the 3D versus the 5D is being tested and his higher self is struggling to get the message through to him. His 3D self is stuck in his ways and is trying very hard to bar barrel his way through this, difficult, this difficulty hoping to prevail against his higher self. Alternatively, the Divine Feminine is feeling the pull within and is trying her best to be patient with her, her Divine counterpart. She is doing her best to stay grounded but can't help wondering when her DM will wake up. She is putting her foot down and digging in, strengthening, strengthening herself in order to help drive the connection forward. Second row, I use the Healing Light Tarot. I got Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. And this I picked up as the Divine Masculine's energies right now in the 3D. Um, Divine Masculine's efforts to root himself back into the 3D world are failing. As he tries to disregard what the, un the universe and source are trying to tell him, he is feeling more and more confused about a situation and ultimately himself. He's doubting his own sanity and refusing to see the spirituality of the connection he's feeling with his Divine Feminine. His higher self wants to rush in and claim his Divine Feminine, but there is a karmic situation in his way. Third row, uh, I used the modern spellcasters. I got Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, and Justice. And I did find it interesting that I started with twos and ended with an eleven. So. Um, and this I got mostly as the Divine Feminine's energies this time. Uh, the Divine Feminine is bound to her purpose and is asking her spirit guides to help her further. She's been feeling very up and down lately and is hoping for the universe to take over, subsequently taking the weight of the journey from her in one way or another. She misses the friendship she felt with her DM and wants the happiness of union with every fiber of her being. She craves the communication that she knows the DM wants to offer but is doing her best to stay grounded. Uh, messages from the Divine Masculine. I used the, div the Divine Energy Oracle, um, basically telling you to ground yourself, okay? Prepare yourself for change, but to focus on your truth and on your mission. Um, as you focus on your mission and your healing, uh, your DM situation will become clearer for him and he will be pulled to you little by little, day by day. And remember to be grateful and humble and don't act on emotion alone. To observe your emotions is to control them, okay? Um, advice to the Divine Feminine um, from the Moonology Oracle. I got the full moon in Virgo, full moon in Capricorn, new moon eclipse, and full moon in Cancer. A lot of full moons here. Um, this yearning for the Divine Masculine from the Divine Feminine is normal, but remember it is unnecessary, okay? You are already in union. Separation is only an illusion. Uh, go within and connect to your higher purpose and be open to the end of old cycles. As the new moon approaches, old habits and karmic issues will end. Okay, Change is inevitable, so open yourself up to it and don't fight against it, even if it becomes painful. Karma is rarely easily resolved. You will be the better for it, and so will your Divine Masculine. Okay. I hope this has helped you guys today. I hope this has resonated. If it has, please like, share, subscribe. Also, I am officially starting to take readings, okay? Uh, so just, uh, if you wanna book a reading, just uh, check my description box. In essence, I'm gonna start um, basically off uh, doing kind of like I'm doing today with quickie readings, um, but they will be a little bit more in depth. So basically what I'll do is I'll pull the cards for your reading, send you a picture of the cards, and of course my interpretation. I'm gonna start doing it that way, and eventually I will do um, video reads, but as of right now, I just don't have the time, but I do wanna at least extend um, the service. So uh, information will be in the description box. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, you can email me and I'll give you all that information, okay? Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. 
Uh, actually, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, bye guys.